Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Kim. This is Core Union, and this little nugget is Bella. And today's video is going to be a story that I'm gonna share of how I deliberately manifested her because the circumstance or circumstances were definitely 100% against me. I did not let it sway me. Well, I did react a little bit, but this is a perfect example of how you can react, it's okay, and you can totally still persist through and get whatever it is that you desire, okay? Because remember, what you desire is already yours, or you wouldn't have the desire in the first place. Okay, so I'm just gonna throw, uh, I'm not gonna throw her, I'm just gonna put her down and then we'll get right into the video. Okay, so this was um, a little over a year ago, it was October of last year, and my other little guy, Felix, uh, who's also a Chihuahua, was totally depressed, very sad. I was getting concerned about him and the only thing I could think of doing was to get him a little buddy. So I started looking on one of the online adoption websites and I wasn't finding any dogs in my local area. So I decided I'm just gonna broaden it out to the entire country and see what happens. So after a little bit of time, I end up seeing, you know, I, I saw obviously a lot of dogs up for adoption, but I ended up seeing Bella. Her name was actually Tinkerbell at the time. I just knew that she was my dog. Like I just felt it, I knew it, and I'm not sure why, but I just, I just did. So I applied for her, went through the entire process, got in touch with the person who is responsible for adopting dogs out. We started texting back and forth. I gave my deposit. She said, congratulations. This is after, you know, the screening and everything. I sent pictures of my home, all of that stuff. So she started texting me pictures of Bella videos, things like that. So I was already feeling, you know, attached to her and, and it was already imprinted in me that this is my dog. All I needed to do was work out the detail of how I was actually gonna get her picked up because this person was gonna drive with other dogs that were getting adopted cross country and the nearest drop off point to me was two and a half hours away. I didn't have a way logistically to go pick her up myself. So I just needed to get that one thing sorted out and call her up and confirm. So a day later, I had a friend who said she was happy to go pick her up for me. A day later, I went to tell the person I'm texting her, I'm calling her, no response at all, which was completely unlike her. So I was starting to feel a certain way about it. I ended up hearing back from her the next day and she said she was really sorry, but someone else adopted Tinkerbell. So I totally completely reacted. I was really upset. I was very angry. And while I was reacting, I just like went right online and I went on the website again, started looking for dogs again. And I ended up seeing another dog. Her name was Emma, but she was in New Jersey. While I was doing it, it did not feel right. Nothing about it felt good. I was completely going against my heart and what I really wanted. And I was completely reacting. My actions were reacting. And I was living from the end of not having her just for, just for a little while, like maybe, maybe a couple hours. So when I finally caught myself and I realized what I was doing, I stopped myself. And I, yes, I had already filled out the application for Emma and everything, and I think I submitted a $50 deposit or something. But I, I stood behind me here in the living room and I stopped myself and I, I realized what I was doing and I, I talked myself through it and I said to myself, you are totally reacting right now. What is it that you actually truly want? And it was that I wanted Tinkerbell. So I reminded myself that I created this circumstance. I don't know how and I don't need to know how. All I need to do is shift back into what I actually want, which is having Tinkerbell here. Trust that she's mine. Trust that I don't have to know the how, but somehow this is gonna work out and Tinkerbell is gonna be here. So I started, so I started with that 
you know, I got myself into a very grounded, stable place where I actually felt her presence. Like I felt her energy. I felt her little, her little body here in the living room. I felt her and imagined her being on the sofa. I, I imagined her running around. I imagined her just exactly how she is, frankly. And any time when a contrary thought came up of, but she's already adopted to somebody else, if that did come up, I just persisted. And I just said, nope, I don't know how, but somehow Tinkerbell is my dog. So now I don't know how much time passed, but obviously it wasn't a long time at all because this had to happen all in a matter of just a couple of days, really, because you know what I mean? So I went ahead and started on my mental diet and just saying some affirmations and I was just sensing, sensing her presence and imagining her presence and feeling how good it was to have her. And that's all it was. And, you know, I always say, and I was just lingering, lingering in that. That's all. So my style is I do that morning, noon, and night. And then I just stay on a mental diet throughout the day in between. And if I have contrary thoughts come up, I just don't let it sway me. Say, thank you for showing up. I don't need you. I don't want you. This is what I want. This is what's happening. I already know it's a done deal. Done. I don't have to know how or when. Time urgency and how it's gonna happen has to be completely, like you cannot think about those things because those are the things that delay your manifestation, okay? So uh, back to the story with Tinkerbell. So I got in the shower one morning and I didn't cancel things with Emma, which I probably should have done, but it doesn't matter because how this played out was pretty awesome. I'm in the shower and I hear my notification that an email came in on my iPhone. So I shut the water off, I throw my glasses on, I look in my email, and the subject line of the email is, we're sorry Emma has been adopted out, or something like that. That's the subject line of the email, and I literally was like, okay, good. Like, that's totally fine. Wasn't phased by it at all. That's it. Put the phone back down, continued showering. Three minutes goes by, I hear the notification again. This subject line says, Tinkerbell is now available for adoption again. So I dried off really quickly. I got on the phone immediately with the, with the woman at this agency in Tennessee. This other one with Emma was in New Jersey. Those agencies are not related to each other whatsoever. One of them is all um, like foster care for dogs. And the one in Tennessee is um, something with the money that goes towards adopting the dogs goes towards veterans so it was a really nice worthy cause too blind veterans i believe i'm not sure so we made the arrangements and within two or three days bella was here i manifested her. i was very excited and um there were some other things about the details about her that were, that are pretty cool but they, they probably wouldn't matter so much to you guys but it was just all the way around one of those manifestations that I love so much because it's it's perfect and it's a great story to tell you guys because it really does tell you from start to finish when you want something, you desire something, you are affirming for it, something happens that is in opposition, you do not let it sway you no matter what and you just keep persisting and just let the universe work out the details. So somewhere, you know, while the time passed, while the time passed, however many days it was, a few days or whatever, and I wasn't seeing any evidence of Tinkerbell, I knew, because I understand how this works, that movement was happening. Things were happening behind the scenes. Something fell through with the other family. Something fell through. I don't know what or how, and I don't need to know how. That is truly none of my business, okay? So the universe handled all of those details and, and just gave me what it is that I desired because what I desired was mine, okay? That's just how it works, okay? So manifesting is the same with everything. It doesn't matter whether it's money, adopting a dog, a new car, a relationship, a job, a promotion, a career, 
Manifesting is manifesting is manifesting. It's always the same. What makes things more challenging and difficult is frankly the stories that we've assigned to different circumstances as they come up and to the old story if we have history with somebody or whatever it is. But, you know, things go, I believe, very deep. And I believe that I've said this in all of my videos that your life is just reflecting to you your most dominant thoughts and beliefs all the time. So we really are always manifesting who we are, okay? And so your self-concept, self-love, self-concept, and concept of others and concept of others and how they relate to you, is that's where your work is, okay? So I hope this video helps you guys. I love you. I am opening up my schedule to begin coaching one-on-one. -on -one. You can email me at kim at coreunion.com if you're interested in one-to-one -one coaching. I am happy to help. Just email me. We can do a very quick consultation, find out how we can work together, okay? So have an amazing night. Comment down below, share the video, subscribe, and I will see you very soon.